All right, what's up everyone? Daddy Warbox here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of the Princes of the Apocalypse. Uh, our party has been rampaging their way through the Fane of the Eye, moving to the interconnecting nodes of elemental power, and after successfully closing their first node in the, uh, the Black Geode, depriving the Cult of the Black Earth, their connection to the elemental realm of Earth, uh, they have now entered the second elemental node, moving into the Howling Caves and seeking to put an end to the Air Cult. And that is where we pick up today. We have just entered the Howling Caves, and our party is right here. I pinged you on the map. So I will unmute your mics. And then uh, we can get started. So let me um, hello. hello. Uh, let me pull up some information for you about the Howling Caves, <clears throat> and then I'm going to do something really annoying. I'm going to turn that up a little bit because, if you were not aware, uh, the caves here, uh, some of their most notable features, is that. The cavern ceilings here are very tall, uh, being upwards of 30 feet high. And the, uh, even the more narrower passages have large vaulted ceilings. Um, there is no light in the Howling Caves unless otherwise specified, but throughout the entirety of the Howling Caves, there is a strong wind that moves its way through the tunnels from some source further within. As the wind moves its way through the caves, it creates this loud howling sound. Oh, oh. And uh, that howling effect will have several mechanical effects on the group. Uh, the first is any ranged attack outside of its normal range will automatically miss as it is swept off course by the howling wind. Uh, any creature that is not on the ground moves as if they were in difficult terrain as they have to fight against the winds and uh, any perception checks to made in order to hear something are made with disadvantage so <laughs> did you yeah fuck you Zilbar <laughs> uh so with that being said, as you enter in this area of the caverns, um, the, the subterranean wind blows north up the tunnel and carrying on the, the wind, you swear you can hear distant screams from far to the south. Oh. Uh, I suppose we should uh, take a look at what's going on with those screams. Before we go any further, I have a question. Have any of you fought those from this cult before? Uh, yes. Uh, wait, no, I have not. Yes. Uh, I've been fighting this cult ever since I was a wee level of one druid, way back when. Okay. So, <laughs> the Earth cultists, they had an affinity for making difficult terrain, a little square. And the Fire cultists, they had an affinity for throwing fireballs. So the fireballs have like a really high priority if I can see them cast that I should interrupt that. Whereas difficult terrain is like a minor inconvenience. What is, you know, what do the air cultists have a proclivity for? Do you know? Using air. <laughs> do they have like an air fireball or something uh, that you know Don't of? knock them off the towers. They can, they can just go glad right back on up. I don't think we have to worry about that, though. I tried to knock somebody off a tower, and it did not work. Oh, I meant more see spells. Some ta towers down I here. don't think so. Hello. Hello. I mean, there were the harpy perches, so... Awesome. Yeah. Well, um... You I know, mean, there's something flying that I can just try to bring it down to the ground. I just meant if there's anything I should prioritize a counter spell to if I see someone casting. Like, should I be concerned, like, we're going to get a fireball? Well, so far, we've only fought the danger? lower level, which were pretty much overrun us. Oh, 
few, but very weak. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Tentatively. Well, why don't you use your best judgment in that regard? You you should know more than the rest of us. I just figured I would ask, you know, if they had, like, wind fireballs they were throwing at you previously when you fought them. Here, here's what you do. When it damages all of us, go ahead and uh, stop. At that point, it's too late. I'm going to cast aid on myself on, uh, on, on uh, this guy and the turtle. Who is this guy? Hello. The, the the barbarian. What's his so name? So your max HP increased by ten. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Bryant. Barbarian. That's Bryant. His name. Bryant. Bryant and Tortle, you both increase your max HP by ten, and your HP currently. We call him the liability. I appreciate it. Rinse and repeat. R cube. Sure. That way we can uh, try and stay alive for a little bit longer. Shall we? I mean, Clem and myself still have the prayer blessing, don't we? No, if you guys had rested before coming down here, it would definitely be gone. I don't think we did. I think we just talked to it and went like around a corner and then came here. And then we leveled uh, up. I think sure. that's where the rest came from. How much was it again? Because I, I did level up and I did get more HP and it changed it automatically. It was 20. Was it? Okay, cool. First floor, we go up or down? Uh, we heard screaming to the south. I guess you should go south. I, I was just looking well, around. As you, where you're standing, uh, Guaca, you see it was a large chasm divides the subterranean passageway here. Uh, there, It continues on the other side a great distance away, but you can't see how deep this chasm goes as fog obscures the depths. Yeah. Um... Why don't we keep going to the south? As that's where we heard the screaming coming from, right? Yeah. Where did everyone go? <laughs> Looks like uh, a dead end, though. Stop that's right there. No, I, it I is see not that. a dead end. Uh, you can see that here there are giant spiders seized in death among dead cave lizards, bats, and a carrion crawler. There's a female drow decked in fine chainmail with ruby pommeled knives at her hips. No injuries are apparent, and the smell of death is fainter here than one would expect seeing all the corpses in varying states of decay. At the back of the wall, within ten feet of the drow, a breeze whistles through three tiny fissures in the rock. I pick up spotters. I pick up some little teeny tiny. Well, you can't, because they're up here in the chamber. Oh, can I just walk in and grab them? Sure. Ignoring the drow that's standing right there? Oh, uh, I didn't see like a little token. I thought, okay, never mind. They are okay. Are they everything dead in there, right? The drow is dead, <laughs> as mm -hmm. is everything else in there. So, um, maybe somebody should go in there. Blue. Looking for Blue. <laughs> All right, Bryant has entered into the chamber. Uh, Brian, as you move forward, you see that he immediately drops to his knees, his hands moving up to his neck as he seems to be suffocating. There is no save, uh, and you can try to hold your breath, except we have already moved past the point of suffocation. He has only a few rounds to survive before he is killed. As it seems something has removed all the air from his person. Go ahead and roll initiative, please. Oh. Right. <laughs> well then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, Clem. You have the first action. What would you like to try and do? Can I just do, like, a perception check just to see, like, what's going on? Uh, yeah. Just if you, to see, if you like, would like, like that... look around and stuff. Well, simply looking around, you're going to observe exactly what it was I just described to you a moment ago. Dead creatures uh, with no visible wounds or injuries and uh, mm -hmm. seemingly dead end with a, uh, in the back of the wall, three tiny holes where you can, t you can tell there's a sound of moving air. Um, 
that's it. Okay. If you'd like to use okay. your action right. to, to try and uh, make a more detailed observation, you may do so. <laughs> Fucking Brian rolled high. Yeah, that's what I wanted, because... <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, see if I can figure out why he's not breathing. Okay. <laughs> Alright, perception of 20. So, as you look around the chamber, you notice a couple things. The sound in the back of the chamber, the moving air, it's not coming into the chamber. You can tell the sound is the air moving away that something draws the air out of everything in this area. You can also see that there are small primordial... Uh, you can't... Uh, can you read primordial? I don't believe so. But you can see no. primordial symbols that you, uh, you can associate due to having seen similar ones in the temples before. Um, so you can see that there is some kind of trap carved into the area here that okay. has caused this situation. Alright, I'm going to point this out to the team and be like, look at them little symbols over there. I think it's part of the the primordial or air cult thingy that's sucking all the air out. We need to maybe disable the trap somehow. Alright. Uh, thank you very much. Brian, what is your constitution modifier? Uh, Two. Two. Okay, so this you uh, like I said, normally when something is suffocating, it can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus its con mod. However, this immediately pulled the air out of your lungs, and you skip that stage and go straight to choking. And when a creature runs out of air and they are no longer able to hold their breath, it can survive for a number of rounds equal to its con mod. So this is one. If Bryant is still in danger at, at the beginning of his next turn, he will drop to zero hit points and start dying. Uh, unfortunately, Bryant, as part of this, this trap, uh, you are so debilitated by the sudden lack of air, uh, I hate to say you are incapacitated. And then it will go to Zilbar. Okay. I have a couple ideas. If I were to step up to here, would I be able to see the markings that Clem pointed out? You can. Uh, you can see that there are three main groups of markings. Uh, there is one right here, right here, and in the back of the cavern. Do they... Uh, okay. Can I tell that Bryant is looking real rough and like we need to get him out right away? Uh, oh, it's very obvious. I would assume he's grabbing at his okay. throat and the universal sign of I'm choking, please dear God, help me. And, oh yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> I would like to hold my breath or like forcefully try and hold my breath and walk up to him. Okay. That there. is, of course, a wonderful sentiment. However, right. However, yep. Uh, this is the line where the glyphs are, and as right. soon as you cross into that territory, all of the oxygen is just sucked away. And okay. now, Zilbar, you are in the same predicament as you Am drop to my... your knees. <laughs> Am I stunned, though? Or could are, I still subtly cast a spell? You are no. incapacitated while in this condition. Yikes. Well, at least I have a five con mod, so we'll be all right. Yeah. I and guess that's my turn. You're at the threshold. Then. People can still grab you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shelton. You should go uh, join your friends. We're going to do this. And and tell the servant to pull him back to us over here. Now, that is a wonderful sentiment. I oh, That is no. very, very clever. I'm going to give you inspiration for the clever use of the spell. And then I'm going to deliver the bad news. Oh, oh no. Uh... Oh, no. 
Give me one second. I don't know why I don't just look it up on Beyond. It's much much easier there. So a creature's uh a creature's push, drag, and carry is determined by their strength, right? And off the top of my head, I want to say push, drag, carry is 15 pounds times your score. So if, you're, if your score is 10, you can push, drag, and carry 150 pounds. The Unseen Servant only has a strength of 2, meaning the maximum weight it can drag push or carry is 30 pounds. And Brian, how much do you weigh? Upwards of 200, 260 okay. pounds. All right. So again, I'm going to give you inspiration because it, it was uh, it was a good idea, but unfortunately that doesn't work. Why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All muscle. Well, I don't. I don't think I can do much of anything else. If if I can move up and grab him, yes, I'll that try. You can but do. you can grab Zilbart. We'll even call it an object interaction to just reach out and then drag him back five feet and into safety. Yeah. And Zilbart, that's, once that's you cross outside of those runes, immediately you can feel the air rush back into your lungs, and you would be safe. At least it wasn't for nothing. All right. Waka. All right. Um, I have two different ideas here. Um, if I shot him with a crossbow bolt that had a, a rope attached to it, would, <laughs> do you think the embedded? Do you think the embedded crossbow would be enough? Uh, would have enough grip on the body to? Pull him out. That is a Do great I think, idea. Do, I would love to see it in practice. However, uh, I mean, if we are strictly just, just, uh, I think that could very, that could very possibly work. Right. The issue is, you would need mm -hmm. an object interaction to pull out your weapon. You would need another one to pull out your rope and attach it to the bolt. So either way, you could probably accomplish both things using your action. But then you're not in a position to save him until the next round. Or, all right. Well, can I make a lasso with the rope? Is that my object interaction pulling it out and then making a lasso? Is those two different things? Sure, sure. All right. Well, I'll make a lasso with the rope, and I'll try and lasso <laughs> Bryant with the rope. Okay. All right. Uh, before you make any any check, do you have uh, any experience? in your background i want you to if and me give me uh, a story you know <laughs> detailing how you would have experience uh lassoing creatures so that you can do this effectively or are we just kind of I, doing it on a whim and we're not very experienced at all not really lassoing creatures but criminals i mean i worked at the city garden water deep for a while and you know, I'm not the fastest person to exist. Obviously, I'm a dwarf, so I have to find ways to get people that are faster than me that are running away. And so, lasso seems to be the most ideal way to do it, without you know, maiming or shooting them with crossbow bolts. So I figured that I would have at least some knowledge on how to make a lasso and throw it at a specific target. All right, you Usually sounded very target. sounded very confident with that story. So go ahead. Let's uh, let's call it what just dexterity i don't think that's really acrobatics so much if you're proficient screw it you can add it uh just straight roll see if you can get it. we'll call it dc 15. you want me to use dex plus proficiency it, are you proficient in acrobatics um, i am all right use acrobatics do do okay there you go you have lassoed him appropriately and uh um, what not? I'm going to do is just move backwards 15 feet with the rope in my hand. And drag him. There we go. All right. And Brian is safe. Everybody is out of danger. And I will clear the tracker. Hooray. Will... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it comes out more like, 
it comes out more like, oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I suppose it was better than my uh, other idea of shooting him with a crossbow, but uh, yeah, I would, I'll, it's a win when we succeeded, so let's uh, get a moving, I guess. I will put the line of bad on the map <laughs> so that we don't accidentally cross it. Is is my servant still in existence? Uh, sure. How long does the spell last? I think it's a minute. An hour. So, yeah. Oh, it, Okay, awesome. I, uh, he he honestly thinks the servant is the one who did all that. Uh, good, good. <laughs> uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, Brian, as you recover, since you were the closest to the back of the cavern, you recall seeing that the drow was wearing armor covered in, in magic runes. They had a pair of fine daggers decorated with rubies. And you could see distinctly uh, a spell component, uh, component pouch, I'm sorry, and several scrolls falling out of their bag. Hey, uh, hey, hey can, the, can, can the servant go retrieve those? Possibly some of them. I don't know if the servant would be able to uh, remove the armor from the drow. That might be too heavy. But as far as picking up the the daggers and the the spell scrolls, possibly. Hey, go tie this rope around that body, and oh. then we will drag the whole <laughs> kitten caboodle over here. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. So it takes the uh, it takes the rope, dr- puts it around the drow, which then you uh, drag back to yourselves. And then you are able to uh, have a look. Is anyone going to identify the items, or are you just going to uh, wing it? I can. How many dead bodies are in there? Just one? Well, just uh, yeah, one human, a bunch of animals. You know. Uh, is, it, is there a magic item? Well, or... The... the Armor and yeah, the dagger. It's a ten plus one to identify the magic items. All right, the uh, spell scroll is a scroll of primordial ward. Uh, that could be useful at some point in the future. Uh, they are wearing elven chain, which I believe you already have a handout for in your journal. Oh. Let's, let me pop it up. But uh, you also find. Three small containers. Uh, and in these containers, you find bottled breaths. <laughs> <laughs> that would have come in handy about five minutes ago. <laughs> yes, it would have. Are the are the daggers just pretty daggers? They are. Oh yes, uh, the daggers decorated with rubies are estimated to be worth about 2,000 gold pieces each. Ooh. Well, let's hold on to those and uh, when we get out of here after stopping the cults, we'll all have a little bit of money in our pocket. Brian's going to walk over and try and start trying to put on the elven chain. <laughs> Come I get this. Uh, I'm afraid that's not going to be very helpful to you, Brian. Uh, that might go well with our. Uh, with me. Maybe with some me. of our. <laughs> you can't wear armor either. <laughs> <laughs> it's our second pair Nick of. Nick tug on his elven chain. <laughs> yeah, so um, maybe Valrock could use that? Or Zilbar? Or Zilbar no. might be able to use that? Sorry. No, we we did the math the last time we found some, and it doesn't work out for me now. My, um, well, I think uh... I could wear it because Rage only says as long as I'm not wearing heavy armor. So technically, I could wear it. Well, Elven Chain is still heavy armor. I thought it said it was medium armor. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Well. <laughs> If you'd like to take the 10 minutes to doff it, you can do that. Or don it. 
Could I chop off uh, one of the elven lady's fingers and pocket it? If you really want to. Uh, that's what I want to do. Oh, I'm rubbing off on you. No, no. I've got completely different reasons. I don't wish to adorn it around my neck. And then she looks over at the uh, the stinky, the now stinky, uh, rotting, <laughs> just little flesh things around his neck. All right. Are you sure you want to wear the armor? That that doesn't seem right. Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. You can drape it over my See? shell. Um, too bad Clem can't use it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in yeah. wearing uh, metal. I believe in wooden sticks and bone clubs. Oh, yes. yes. That's um, <laughs> Let's go this way. Which way? Uh, oh, okay, sure. Let's uh, head up. I do have a question. Um, would a uh, dispel magic would have worked? Uh, well, uh, yes and no. Okay. Because that's what I was going to do on my turn. Yeah, yes. hammer would have worked to the runes. Yep, that could have also worked. I would have accepted. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I would have accepted any answer, really. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it doesn't seem like there's any wind drafting from the bottom, like uh, what got us down here. Uh, I definitely didn't say that. When you when you look at this this chasm, which is definitely not to scale on the map, um, sure. chasm is fifty feet deep before uh, you can see the fog, and they say it's approximately a hundred feet across. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. No, no, that's why the yeah. description of right. the of the chasm was that uh, it continues on the other side, a great distance away. Yeah. All right. Well, let's keep going north. Do we want to go up or off to the well, west here? Left is left is right, right, turtle. All right, left is right. Let's go left. As you move forward, the temperature plunges in this cave, which is dominated by a okay. frozen pool. Ice crystals glitter on the walls, floor, and other rock formations. Snow whirls about on strong gusts. And uh, everybody can just make the check now because everybody has to move into this chamber at some point. Uh, everybody make a con yeah. save to try and uh, steal yourself against... The extreme cold. Everybody except for Zilbar, who I'm pretty sure is resistant to cold. Um, I'm resistant as well. I'm resistant to radiant in the crowd. Guaca is resistant. Oh, well then, I stand corrected. Only Guaca doesn't make the save. Everyone else needs to make a save uh, as the temperature is far too cold for you. And if you fail, you gain one ah. level of exhaustion. Is Frostbrand resistant to fire or frost? Or ice? I think it makes you resistant to Fire. Yeah, I don't remember, and I can't find the handout for it. You're dead to me. I mean, I can become resistant to it, but nah. I found it. it. Do it. Nah, oh, I'm alright. Freezing temperatures, the blade sheds bright light in a ten foot radius, and dim light for an additional radius. But that's oh, all it that's, says uh... about cold. Yep, that's the fire. Not to cool. Your sword is very yeah. bright right now, but yep, you are, you need to make a save. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful. Thanks. Oh, so uh, Shelton will gain a level of exhaustion. He's a very tired turtle. Mm -hmm. Does it seem that like the more we move around in here, the the more exhaust exhausted we'll be? Uh, well, generally. Uh, for each, the uh, the more time you spend inside the extreme cold, the uh, the the more chance you have of, of being susceptible to its effects. Okay. I'm trying to find where it says. Under ordinary circumstances, I think it's like every hour you make a save, but that's not the case here. For every minute every minute you spend in this room. So, uh, Guaca, right. stop right there. Sure. Let me see. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 40, 60, 
So yeah, realistically, within a minute, we can we can make it uh, if we run, right? And I'm assuming we would because it's bitter cold, so so bad. Uh, we we uh, in a minute we could probably make it to the other side and be done with this room. However, when you get to this point in the chamber, something happens. The pressure in the air begins to shift, and as it does. You can o it almost feels like a weight is pressing on your chest and shoulders. Your ears pop, and the hairs on your arm and neck begin to raise. The frozen lake in the center of the chamber instantly begins to crack, and thick waves of steam rise from the pool. Water rains from up above, where the ice crystals clinging to the stone begin to melt, and bobbing among the breaking ice, you see bloated bodies of small humanoids uh, rise up to the surface of the water, staring at you with bloated, dead eyes. And I need everybody who is not resistance to fire to make another con save versus extreme heat, as the temperature has now risen to, to over 200 degrees. What the fuck? Where are we at when this happens since we're all rolling? Are we just like right behind Guaca? Be, uh, up here by Guaca, yeah. I am okay this time. How many dead bodies are there? Hundreds. There's so many. There's so oh, many. Oh, there's so many. Would you like to oh. linger here and cast a spell? Uh, actually, no, no. Um, <laughs> well, Not really. Well, so the temperature has shifted drastically. What do you guys do? Get out. All right, run, dash, leave this room. <laughs> uh, when you get to about here, I need to make a roll slash GR 1D 100. Oh, oh hello. 59. Hello. Oh, okay, so you guys are <laughs> able to exit the room before another drastic change in temperature. Uh, you would need to be, say, 50 feet away before the residual heat or and or cold, depending on what state the room is in. Uh, there we go. All right, now you're safe once again. Uh, interesting. I like that cold, it was very refreshing, but uh, I can tell you guys were not impressed. Uh, no. I'm going to kill you with environmental effects. <laughs> um, does everyone get out of that okay? I'm, uh, uh, Shel, tired. You're, looking, you're looking a little yeah. uh, tired there. Yeah. Let me give you a little pick me up. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Go left, right, Sheldon? Oh, yes. That's right. All right. As you begin to walk down that hallway, uh, you can see up about 10 and 15 feet ahead of you, gore spatters the floor and walls of this windy cave. The floor is strewn with dismembered humanoid corpses, and you can hear right. a howling. You, in here already? No. you can hear a howling moving among the remains, as suddenly, arms and dismembered body parts begin to rise into the air, being flung about the cavern. Does it feel like the wind is being sucked in, no. like in the previous cavern? No, not this time. Okay. <laughs> Zilbar took the hint. Uh, as that cyclone that is strewing about the uh, about about the the dismembered body parts is actually an air elemental that's moving throughout the cavern. Nice. So and as it's uh, as it's you know discorporeal form moves about the chamber, you could see the blood, gore, and p body parts kind of sucked up into its frame, staining the wind red. Wow, you guys suck at initiatives. <laughs> Alright, Clementine, you're up first. Alright, um... Just gonna get to right here. Oh, wait, not inside the wall. Right there. Um, and I'm gonna throw out what I do best, a chill touch. Hey. Nice. Hey. 19 damage. 19 big old. I am rubbing off on you. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, all right, and then I'm going to step back to about right here against the wall. All right, Nick, Nick. And Shillelagh, just in case. Step to here. And I'll invite it to make its own fancy wisdom save. Stop it. Okay, and then I'll step back to here since I've been told to stop. All right, the air elemental. It surges forward, shouting something in a strange language. Uh, do any of you speak Primordial? Speak Aquin. Aquin. You speak Aquin. Okay. Uh, and Zilbar speaks Primordial. Uh, Aquin is a dialect of Primordial. So you can kind of piece together whenever someone is speaking in like Orin or Ignin because it's similar enough that you can pick it up. Uh, sure. So the two of you understand the words it howls as it rushes towards you. Glory to Yan Bin. And it rushes forward and it it's going to move right where I've placed it. So that it is in the space of you three. And as it lands there, uh, it is going to use its whirlwind. Each creature in the elemental space must make a strength save. On a fail, you take 15 bludgeoning and is flung 20 feet away in a random direction and knocked prone. Uh, of course, Brian passes. I'm gonna use I know, it's not. No, no, I'm not gonna use my inspiration. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so Brian Shelton, uh, you will take seven bludgeoning. Uh, you you stay right where you are because you weren't flung. Uh, Nick Knack, can you do me a favor and roll a d8? And for reference, top left corner is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five, that would be one, two, three, four, five. You get flung into the wall directly behind you, going nowhere. Uh, meaning, you take. Never mind. You didn't, you can go ten feet or more. It does nothing. It does nothing at all. You land prone, and you are sad. <laughs> you take 15 damage. <laughs> oh. All right, and then that is the air elemental's turn. Then it goes to Shelton. Shelton's going to be like, oh, excuse me, and then take a step back. And okay. then for the first time in, like, three episodes, we're going to hit... Never mind. <laughs> oh... What? So that's his screaming. Uh, Guaca? Guaca has got this nifty hammer, and he's going to throw it at the uh, elemental that's here in front of him. Are you certain? Because that air elemental currently has two of your friends within its person. Uh. Well, I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> Sure, let's do it. All right. I'll one. Sure. Uh, 17 is a hit for 22 damage. Let's, uh, hold on. Uh, Bryant and, and Nick, uh, take seven, please. The air element will take eight. He'll absorb the extra point. <laughs> and I don't get any benefit from being prone. Thanks. No. Suffer. So do I see that affect my allies? Yeah, well, yeah, you just hit them with a hammer. Okay. <laughs> and can I just whack it with the hammer? Will it make... I don't know if it'll make any difference. Only one way to find out. In the Only second one. my melee attack. Okay, all right. So, uh, you know, Bryant and Nick, take four, please. And then, are you finished? And yeah, I think I can't do anything else. Well, Bryant. Oh, all right. I'm gonna take a step back. Okay, that and... seems like a good idea. Oh, uh, decisions, decisions. Do it. Do it. I'm sorry, Nick Knack. I really. Heal me when you're done. 
<laughs> I don't want to hear you. This. I don't have any spell slots. I'm a dumb barbarian business. <laughs> I'm going to recklessly attack. Um, yeah. <laughs> the liability. Oh, no. Uh, oh, this is uh, going to be hard. Two hits. So 27. <laughs> All right, so first, first things first, 27 by 2. Uh, take 13. I'll take the 14. And then, and then. Uh, yeah, I just got the brutal, brutal critical dice, too. 29 plus 27. And close bracket divided by 2. Uh, hey, it worked. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I have to do that? <laughs> All right, me and you will both take 28. Uh, the air elemental is dead. <laughs> and then I'll end combat. Right there, Nick. <laughs> Nick, you ain't looking so hot. Moron barbarian. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Uh, that is that is true. It is dead. It's dead, Jim. Uh, I actually learned uh by looking at my sheet that I could speak orc. Apparently, evidently I took orcish for some fine reasons. Oh. So Clementine will look at Brian and be like, "Okay, that was a little funny." <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I will use uh cure wounds on my dear lizard friend. Let's see what spell slot. I a lizard. There you go. There. Let me save you the trouble, Guaca. Uh, it dead ends down there. There are literally hundreds of corpses strewn throughout. Uh, as you look through the dismembered pieces of what used to be humanoids, uh, you can see that some of them have been marked with the symbol uh, of uh, the Howling Hatred. And... Uh, Scrawn and primordial in the blood of the victims. Uh, glory to Yancy Bin. That person seems like they're uh, important. Can I? Is it possible to raise some of these bodies, or are they all just like chopped up, like Jack they're, the Ripper style? It, uh, it says they're all dismembered humanoid corpses. Okay, all of them. Okay. All right. Uh, can I look for spiders? Okay. Want spiders? I just want some dang spiders. I, this is the second. There are no there spiders. Are. There are no, no spiders. Okay. All right. Are there any centipedes? No, no creatures. Are there the any giant scorpions? All right. All right. Let's keep moving up to the north. I thought we were supposed to be blitzing everything. Why <laughs> are we wasting so much time? <laughs> we're not blitzing everything. We're not going fast enough. I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, wasting a spell slot or a spell same, thing on Same that. as I told you before. If it happens, I will let you know. Uh, right, as right. you move through this area here, you see wind rushes through this curving natural passage and off into the darkness. And as it moves through all of these pillars and columns, you can hear whispering voices on the wind. Uh huh. And as they whisper, uh,. Brian, you hear a voice that says, Do not trust the Asimar. He draws his powers of cold from Ol' Hydra herself. He is no friend. Alright, I'm going to, because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, 50 or less, I react. 50 or more, I don't. <laughs> what have I done? I'm gonna come over here. What are you doing? You're an enemy, traitor! Shut up, idiot! <laughs> what are What are you doing, Brian? Brian? You've been acting a little weird so far. I mean, he's feeling all right. You no, know, he gets his powers from Hydra herself. Why do you think he didn't suffer back there when the rest of us did? Orc not smart enough to understand power. 
Shut up. Keep moving, Brian. You can you can pick on him later when we're finished um, killing the colt. For now, we need to move. We can't. So, uh, we can't. Uh, well, Zilbar, you hear a different whispered voice on the wind. The orc is insane. He he will he will destroy you if you're not careful. Um, <laughs> you're just speaking was, the truth. They were no supposed to lie, react to that. <laughs> no lie. Before you said that, I was getting ready to roll to see if I was going to take a swing at him. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say anything. That's just what I think normally. Like he's the liability. Of course, he's a little nuts. He's though. the liability. That's why I give him haze. If anyone's a liability, I thought it would be Shelton. To be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look, a big scary monster. Friend. <laughs> you can work on that problem. Here. We got problems to deal with already. Let's get a move on. For. Look, Brian, I don't know where my powers come from, okay? My ancestry is a white dragon, for sure. I know that. All I know is that the power that I have, when I gave to you, you seem to run really fast and enjoy yourself. I do okay. Your ancestors did. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't, um, I don't know what my ancestors did. Your okay? ancestors are I don't know gross. who they are. It doesn't I matter. Been able to do my special attack yet? Doesn't matter who they are, or what they did. It matters special. what I do with what they've given me. Oh, okay. No. I don't question where it came from. I trust him for now. <laughs> I have advantage because he has helped me in the past, so I trust him for now. I'm watching you. I like how Guaca and uh, and Shelton are just like, nope, not interested. <laughs> it's like you can just keep going. Going back at him. Shelton likes running fast. I said, Let's do this later. You guys can beat each other up when we're finished killing the cult. Thanks for the follow, Until then, Mark. How are you doing? All right. Uh, as you move further down, you can see here is. Uh, it lo almost looks like a garden of stalagmites. Wind blows through the weird uh, gathering of stalagmites and stones, and the rock formations are all very smooth and contorted, worn down by erosion. Clem takes the piece of stalagmite, even though it should be illegal. Yeah, that's mine. Hey, hey, this is mine. Break. Clem you... plays swords with stalagmites with a. So you just Shelton. reach up to this giant trunk. I mean, if we look, well, I mean, there, uh, the smallest like one smaller, is like right? it's a four foot diameter rock. Yeah, I just break it in half and uh, you know I'm gonna swing it around. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know. I've been in a lot of the caves, and usually whenever there's like you know bigger ones, there's like smaller ones around it. As you move into this this garden. Uh, Clem, you you can swear that some of the stalagmites look like faces. And as you see this strange aberration, the faces are recognizable. It's your grandma. It's the other elves of your home. All contorted in fear. Grandma Shrama? She's going to go back to the wine with the one with her grandma. As you all... The heck? Were... Look, move through the garden, you can all see familiar faces. Friends, family, fallen comrades. Shelton just and woke there's up certain on tribes in there? There is. Although only for Clem, because nobody else actually knows him. <laughs> yeah, Clem is just gonna... I guess chalk it up as another illusion because she's I, I, I guess she's wise enough to know that it's not, you know, them but she's still gonna get all teary-eyed and be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna get, I'm gonna avenge our uh, homeland, don't you worry grandma. I see somebody over here. Yes, you do. So stop right there. Uh, where you are currently standing uh you can see that there are several windy tunnels that meet here over a large chasm. 
and there are ledges above this chasm on either side that are they'd say they're they're like three foot thick uh paths so moving at half speed you could walk across them um as you move here and as you look across and you see the people there uh you can see that they were posted at the opening to this chasm and they're facing in your direction and they have crossbows in their lap and it's very obvious they were watching they are guards and they see you and they turn and shout intruders and then we roll initiative yes hello hey how are you man i like my roll i did good very good Five, six. Uh, ooh. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. My initiates are going to go first, but then mm -hmm. there is a tie. Or can go before me. Okay, there we go. All right. So the initiates will go first, and so what they are going to do. <laughs> Uh, the initiates are going to run forward. They're all going to stand here at the mouth of this chasm. And I'm holding shift so I keep doing goofy things with the targeting reticle. There we go. There. So they all run! To the mouth of the caves. Uh, these guys are already here, so they can. Oh, look at that! There we go. So they're gonna run there, uh, and then they're all going to use their action to throw their daggers at you. And mm -hmm. same as before, they have. They all have their. Uh, oh no! Their guiding wind. <laughs> So they will manipulate the air currents around their dagger, giving themselves advantage on their on their attack rolls. Uh, <laughs> screw it. Let's attack Guaca. All right. Uh, miss twenty. There we go. All right. So, what is your AC with shield? 25. 25. 24 yes. is the max they could roll. Unless they crit, they can't hit you. <laughs> Three, four, five, Ooh. six. So so here's what's gonna happen. So these get you you move up, they run forward, they throw a hail of daggers at you, and you throw up your shield and just pink 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 pink. They all just hit the shield and fall to the ground. And then it's Zilbar's turn. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna walk up a little bit closer. I only see the two people. I'm not really sure how many there are. I can't quite get a good view from here. So I'm just gonna cast haste on Guaca. Okay. Yeah. Guaca is hasted. I expect and many hammers in my future. Bit. Nick. Nick doesn't even see anything. He just hears chink, chink, clink off of Guaca's armor. So he's going to step back to here. And he is going to just take a second to mend his wounds. Sounds good. Uh, this guy. 5, 10, 15, 20. Five, Flicking the blanket. 30. Uh, he's going to move here. And what is he going to do? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> he throws out his hands. And we're going to try and hit Bryant. 
because why not? You're right there. Uh, and let's do this at level three. Miss. Yes, it is. So close. Okay, and then Shelton. We're gonna do the thing for the first time in three episodes. Hiya! That is a hit. And because it's the first time in three episodes, we're using psychic plates. Uh, yeah, he was dead even without the psychic plates. That's, that's okay, we had to do it. <laughs> and that, that's his turn. Alright, uh, Clem. She sees this guy pop up, and he's dressed differently. He looks like he's using magic instead of just little weenie knives. Um, and she's going to go after him. As a matter of fact, I think yeah. this is the first time we, we've actually encountered a Howling Hatred Priest. We haven't seen them uh, in the temples or... I think so, too. We've yeah. come across plenty of them dang earth ones. Yes. <laughs> he looks cool. I like his robe. I'm going to try to take his robe. Oh, no. Um, but I... <laughs> After he's dead, of course. Uh, I'm going to use Chill Touch. Oh. Ooh. That uh, definitely hits. For 14. And then... I'm going to do... Okay, I'm not in anybody's way. Uh, I'm going to do Shillelagh bonus action, and that'll do it. Right. All right. Let's see. I'm going to. <clears throat> Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. There. Okay. And let us... Uh, reckless attack, rage, and go to town. He's dead. And... and that's everything I could do? Yeah, because these are difficult terrain. Yeah. Okay. All right. So movement speed's doubled, right? Yes. That's still just five feet, right? Mm-hmm. Should be able to get to there with the doubled speed. Mm-hmm. And uh, that guy, he he looks like he needs a hammer to the face. Hammer the face. Uh, Hammer the is face. this on the uh, spellcaster? Yes. Okay, he is dead. Good. Um. Yep. All right, he's that dead guy too. is within range yep. too. So. Uh. Oh. Uh. Third he's attack. He's too far away. I have my hate. I'm sorry. Third attack. Third attack. I have a hasted action. Uh, I can't. I don't think anybody's in range is the problem. I can't cast a spell. I can only do melee attacks, right? Why couldn't you cast a spell? Oh, no. With the haste action. Right. Oh, no. Haste action does not allow you to cast right. a spell. Uh, I can dash with it, though, right? Yes. Cool. I'll move another 10 feet then. I'll be there. Right on top of these guys. All right. And that's it for Guaca. So we have our uh, initiates again. He's going to run up. And I need you to make a strength check. As he strength attempts to check. grapple. Well, or, Okay, acrobatics, athletics, your yeah. choice to contest it. Sure. So 16. He does not have advantage. You pass. Uh, again? Nope. Uh, take an op attack if you want it. Um. 
Yeah, I'll green flame blade him. With the Dwarven Thrower. Okay. He's dead. I don't think I'm up the damage on that. The damage on should be increased, right? 1d or 2d8. It, he's dead? Because of the... It, yeah, but the, the damage needs to splash to the guy next to him here. Well, you haven't rolled the fire uh, damage yet. Right, but I think it, the damage is increased because of the level. Double check. What level are uh, you? Yeah, it's 2d8. Cool. Level 12 should be 2d8 damage. So 15... Okay, so it's just 4 damage to... to... No, four, 4 would be on the guy it hits originally. The splash damage is a second 2d8, right? Uh, Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so he's dead too. Okay. Make another strength check? Cool. Nope, okay, don't even bother. Make another strength yeah, check? I can't tell that. Okay. One of these guys is going to not suck. You're going to bother. All right. How about one more? Ooh. Okay. There's a decent. Oh, I can feel this. There's a decent. Ooh, God. All right. So all these guys just run up in succession. One drops down, and tries to wrap himself around your legs. The other one tries to spear you in the midsection. You can tell they're making a, a, a solid effort at throwing you in the chasm. Unfortunately, you are like a mountain. You you uh, evade, block. And uh, retaliate against their uh, against their their advances, and you are able to hold them off. Uh, Zilbar, I guess I'm gonna get closer because um, I want to see what's going on. I guess. I mean, that's not really what you want to hear. Do. Yeah, yeah. And then I may as well like I don't know, like uh, twin cast a frost, ray of frost at that guy, and then that guy. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should cast a spell. Right? Hey. Like, they're within range, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And just uh, left guy and then the right guy. Hit, hit. They're both dead. Well, yeah, I did my job. <laughs> All right, and That's Nick. my turn. Uh, Nick gets to there. He can't. This person right here in front of Glock, are they alive? He did. The only one that's he alive. He did. Is Nick this can't one. see anybody. Oh, can't see him. Oh, well. Uh, Nick will uh, hold an action to Toll the Dead if someone pops up that he can see and is hostile. Okay. Uh, he's dead, so it goes to Sheldon. Uh, can I can kind of is that the enemy? Yep. Or is that a dead person? I nope, can kind of. The one see survivor that? by red arrows is the lone survivor. Pretty sure only I can see. Yeah, they're all too far no, away. I... Uh... Moving closer. Closer. Oh. I think that's the last step I can make. Okay. <laughs> well, now I'm like around a wall. Oh god. Um. Dash. Throw I... uh, Guaca into the chasm. All right. I can bonus action dash. There we go. Okay. I yeah. Uh. I. Pretty, I think that's going to kill him. Yep. Tell him that he smells the worst out of all of the people here. Oh, no! You insulted my, my hygienics! Ah, and he dies. That's the end of combat. All right. Let's uh, get uh, everyone across over here, and then we can keep moving. Uh, looks like there's an arrow pointing up. Looks like that might be the way we need to go. Let everyone cross the chasm first, so that we can uh, all be on this side well, of the chasm. Well, here I'm. Uh, I'm going to show you why that arrow is there by deleting this 
line of sight barrier. You see? It's a loop. It all goes to the same spot. <laughs> so it'd be a waste of time. Uh, Nick Nat, get over you. Alright. <clears throat> there are tokens up there. Uh, 17. Let's see. Shaboom. All right, Hello. I'll move to that. that uh... uh, before they move on, I'm gonna be like, hold on, oh, just a, just sake. a minute, just a minute, guys. And then Clem is gonna uh, animate dead three of them. You you won't wear medals, but this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. Hey, a minute is a long time. Are you guys going to hang out for the one minute spellcast? Going to keep an eye out for things coming from down here. Cool. Let me describe to you dead. the room up ahead. At an intersection of four tunnels, which, Guaca, you can see them, uh, there is a mighty gale blowing from the northern way, making a constant howl. Two braziers burn with green flame, lighting the area. Numerous rock columns join the floor to the ceiling. There are severed silk ropes, and they are uh, soaked, and they've turned a dark color as they are completely saturated with blood. They sit at the base of three gore-spattered columns, and tied to these two columns are two people, each with a symbol cut into their forehead. Look like they're there willingly. Mm, well, uh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> they're they're tied to the columns. Okay, are the braziers within like line of sight? You can see yeah. them, so yes. Okay. Can I throw the hammer at it and knock them over? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'll do that. All right. So you throw the hammer, knocks the first brazier over. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the people cry out in fear, and you hear a large thumping noise coming from above. And uh, you, you hear it and see it. Thump. Silt and rocks come spilling from up above. Thump. Uh, a boulder gets pushed aside, comes crashing to the ground. There is something big and invisible lurking on the ceiling. Uh -huh. Initiative again, please. Uh, what am I doing? Am I still casting, or...? You are still casting. You can continue... You can decide uh, whether you're going to continue to cast or if you're going to join combat on your turn. Okay. Um... Would it still have the... Uh, would it still expend the spell slot? You've already begun the spell cast, so if you fail... Okay. Yes. If you right, choose to continue casting, yeah, then it's just, uh, it's like you have to maintain concentration on the spell until it's completed. But I mean, there, you should be fine. You just stay down there. We'll, we'll uh, still have your roll initiative in case at some point you change your mind. There we go. All right. Shelton, you are up first. We're gonna bonus action dash. As you move here, Shelton, you can see the, the prisoners begin to stir, and they look at you. Be careful! Invisible demons! Oh no. Um, you said it, it was something large? Something large. Um, do I know the area that it's in from the noise it was making? Sure, they are somewhere above you. Huh. Like over here, and over here. How tall is the ceiling? Uh, it, I believe it's t uh, 30 feet here. Uh, yeah. Ah, 
Thank mm. you, Florg. I am mistaken. I had everything correct except if you fail the spell, it does not consume a spell slot because you didn't cast it. Thank you. But yes, it's still, you have to maintain concentration. You spend your action each round. But if you fail, you don't blow the slot. All right, uh, so you fairy fire, and uh, I need you to pull out the template, please, so that I can see exactly where you were going to place it and whether or not you succeed in striking one of the things. Oh, no. And you said it's it's Roughly. 30 feet up, so, okay. So that's where you want to place it? Yes. I didn't see where you were pinging because I was looking at the spells. Well, so that's I, the thing. is You only so. have a vague idea, right? You just know that they're somewhere yeah. in this area mm. ahead of you. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so if yeah. you'd like to change your answer, you're more than welcome. Oh, no. You've asked me if I want to change my answer. This has added so much anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need help, guys. What do I do? <laughs> Don't buy into psychology. He's trying. He he he's trying to bamboozle you. Okay. Go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna keep it there. Okay. All right. So it's it's ten feet off the ground, by the way. All right. What? No magic. Oh, right. All right. It's it's on the ceiling. That's where I'm casting it. The creature that you had hit has resisted the fairy fire. You cheated. Did I? <laughs> this happens to roll a crit after all the shenanigans. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's Sheldon's turn. Should probably check. Okay. I'm gonna move here. And any mini money mo. Sheldon, one, two, or three? Three. I'm going to throw a javelin here at disadvantage. Absolutely. Uh, the javelin clatters off the wall, striking nothing. Well, not that way. Uh, I'll back up a little bit, and then that's my turn. Guaca. Guaca. Um, I was up front, so did I see where the rocks fell from? Yeah. Uh, over here in this area. Right there in that area. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm going to let me pull out the template. So with right there. Are you sure? Yep. Shatter. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, con save. Ook. Ook. All right. Do I have uh, to make the con save? No. It's no. Above you. Okay. It, I it just is want above you. Yeah. The ceilings are what I say thirty, so it would still be above your head. Yeah. And the shatter is. Can you center shatter at a yeah a point you can see? All right. There we go. And I'm going to move in we... further. Can we move this? There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Do I know that it hit something or not? Uh, you, you Yes. Uh, as you cast the spell, you heard a frightened cry. Ook! I kind of point I want that as my text tone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the sound clip. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Zilbar. Um, yeah, Zilbar knows what's going on, definitely. 
gonna get up closer, I suppose. It's not saying anything and figured, hey, you know, worked last time. And I'm gonna cast haste on Guaca. Again. And I know what you're gonna say. Hey, hey, it is only a 30 foot range. Well, I'm distance casting it because I'm a sorcerer and we can do that. Okay, that works. I and feel Clem, so left out. So you've heard spell casts, uh, you've heard large booms of uh, shatter. Uh, you're gonna attack me like 20 minutes ago. What do you mean you feel left out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clem, are you gonna continue with your spell? Oh, crap. Here we go again. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just step away They'll and be, be like, fine. I'll be back for y'all later. You just leave these boys to fend for themselves. Oh, I can't do that. That'd be against Clem's <laughs> nature. All right, let's go 45 to... Oh, wait, no. I can't walk across a wall. What am I doing? Oops. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, 45 right there. All right, and I don't see anything. What are we even fighting, guys? What's going on? <laughs> uh, the party doesn't know yet. What? Why would you give Terran a net to... Come on! Why wouldn't you give me a net? Uh, right. Um, I'm gonna throw out a... I guess a chill touch in this direction. Uh, chill touch requires a creature that you can see. Oh, that I can see. You're right, you're right. Um... Well, if I see something, I'm going to prepare a chill touch. So, holding an action, if you see something, yes. chill touch. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Just to uh, to remind you, I'm pretty sure I still have a nat 1, too, that you never gave me. Uh, they don't carry from session to session. Oh, okay. All right. Anywho. Very so, nice. the... You hear sounds right? Uh, more large thumps and uh, several cacophonous cries of hoo, 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 as something goes swinging across the ceiling coming ever closer. Uh, we are going to travel across the ceiling. Where do we want to go? How far can I go? Climb speed of 40? Oh, yes. Ook, ook. Ook, 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 ook. Uh... I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, that's right. Oh. But I didn't know. It's I'm already at max move. Oh, we're just gonna go right here. All right. So this first one, uh, Bryant and Clem, you hear something rushing as it as it swings across the ceiling, a large pound as it lands in the square next to you. A nova of dirt and rocks goes billowing out, and then a moment later, a monumental fist comes flying at Clementine. Oh, uh, I uh, shield it with the power of nature. I don't think that's something love. you could actually do. <laughs> <laughs> and I take 11 damage. Uh, as it makes this attack, it reveals itself, and you what Ooh. you see is a large ape-like creature but reddish eyes and distorted Ew. features that make it uh it's very apparent that this is some kind of uh infernal being and as the bogura makes its first attack you see that oh i can actually do two more and uh it's going to punch not with advantage this time but 19 at me again? Yeah, yeah, no, that hits. Oh, yeah. And then, <laughs> I don't have a very high AC. And then it's going to bite. Yeah, that hits too. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. And then... It revealed itself, so doesn't that activate her held to Oh, touch? it does. It, it sure would. does, but it's it at disadvantage, right? Yes, because it's next to you. Yeah. It's very good. Very, very good. 14? It does not. Okay. Uh, no. 
Nope, that's poopy. I don't want to do that. All right, I think next uh, over here, Shelton, as you're standing here, a massive fist comes out of the darkness. 24? Hello. <laughs> uh, uh, that hits. Okay. And a second Balgora makes its presence known to you. And then it comes in with the second fist coming down overhead like a haymaker. <laughs> Uh, 17 plus 4 is 21. But Looks I like he got you again. I can't block that. And then a 25. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have the 12. Okay, very good. Very, very good. And then it'll be Nick's turn. Okay. Um, yeah. Nick will step to here, do a little bit of this. It can do its thing. Oh, that one there. Uh, ew. Necrotic damage, you say? Uh, sure. Uh, ow. Takes the full 27. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! I may have hit 217. Oh, so it's not dead. Never mind. Then, uh, <laughs> Nick will step through here and end his turn. Alright, Shelton. Shelton says hello to the monkey and then tries to stab him. 16. Is a hit. Do I want to do psychic blood? You know, no, I, you know what? I haven't hit enough things, so I do. All right. It takes 38. <laughs> because it is resistant to cold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's Shelton's turn. <laughs> Bryant? Brian's gonna do Bryant things. How injured does this thing look? Uh, I mean, relatively. It's not bloody yet. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna rage. We're just gonna straight reckless it up. Uh, 18 and 17 both hit. Oh boy, here we go. Wham! And it's dead. Blech. Sweet! And I'm going to come over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, I got plenty. Hey, this one's and... mine. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a hit. Ouch. Guaca. And that, that's my turn. All right, Guaca will move to within 20 feet of this guy here. Yeah, hold on. Position and hammer time. Uh, yes. As your th your hammer flies out, and it's boomerang like fashion, pummeling the poor Bulgura back into the abyss. That will end combat. Good. Yes. Um. Y'all folks know where we can find the. Uh, I guess they have some sort of summoning chamber here. Uh, I, please, you have to let me go. Free me. Yeah. Free me. Yeah, yes, that's that's the whole point. We're going to free you. We, we need to know how to get to the summoning chamber, though. Do you this know which direction? Presumably to go? after yeah. you get stunned, right? Because <laughs> the haste wears off. Oh, from the... <laughs> right, sure, sure, sure. I still got a minute. I have plenty of time. I can talk real fast to them. Yes. Which direction will we go to the uh, chamber? Oh, shit. While they're doing the summoning rituals. Hold on. Somebody can't help themselves and keep summoning creatures. 
So now I have to add this to your journal. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You keep doing it. I, I just, I really want Stinky again. They're so cute. I do need a, uh, let's see here. No, you don't. It was on the old one. No. Nope. In the old uh, thingy. Jungle no, you, zombie. You do not. It's in this, it's there in this go. lobby too. It is, it is. You're, you're, you're correct. But these are not Absolutely. fungal zombies. Fungal zombies only these have one just... hit point. These are regular these zombies. These are just... Will you oh. listen? <laughs> I'm, I'm zombie sorry. is now in your journal as well. Yay! So you'll want to drag three of those to the tabletop. Okay. So... Oops. Alright, and then Guaca, what were you trying to do? Trying to figure out if these guys knew where the summoning chamber was. You... You have to let me out. Please, untie me. Quick, now! Right. Quick, now! Yeah. Do not delay! We need to go find where they summon at. So we oh, can yes. stop them. Please, I, I, I will now. certainly help you, but you... Right now! I come in with a conga line of zombies. Like, hey, what if I miss? Uh, well, these guys <laughs> need to be untied, but they're not telling us directions, so I'm a little uh, hesitant well, to untie Do they look beaten and uh, you yes, know, they are covered in injuries. They have weird arcane symbols carved into their face. They, no, well, that's horrible they things have been done to these people. What the hell is wrong with y'all? <laughs> what the actual uh, heck is wrong? With she will untie them and everything and be like, I'm so sorry, my friends die. lack, lack in empathy. Oh, miss, they you lack are so sympathy. Wonderful. And then they look at uh, the zombies that you just raised. The people that you have ripped from their afterlife and perverted into into forced servitude. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> While you you talk about your moral high <laughs> ground. <laughs> hey, I am using their bodies to uh, fight the evil that I am imprisoning them that has imprisoned you to work for me. Now, do you know whereabouts where the uh? this chamber that my friends were asking about. You you seek the air node. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go stop them. It's this way. And they point uh, to the hallway to the northeast. It's Can I insight and then check? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was do. Do them? Go ahead. Go ahead, insight. They are telling the truth. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go get uh, some. Wait, uh, wait! Air Don't rush off. Uh, further down that hallway, there's a cadre of the royal guards, air priests waiting. I'm I'm sure that they have prepared an ambush for you, hearing all the commotion. And then further down, is where she waits, Erzi, the howling hatred priest and prophet. Right. Perfect. Right. That's exactly who we need to go kill. That's who we need to kill. So let's go. Uh, let's go killing. All right. Let's go with killing again. You must move quick. Do not let the priest delay you. That's that's the plan. <clears throat> so you, okay. And stop right there, please, because as you round the corner there, Guaca, <clears throat> as you were warned, the howling hatred priests yeah. lie in wait. And as you round the I'm corner, gonna... hey, it's guys we just killed. Awesome. Twenty-three. There's the shield. No. Uh. Oh, these priests suck. <laughs> <laughs> then a dust devil appears in your space. Okay. Nope, not black. That's not uh obvious. Drink safe, got it. What the shit? It's supposed to be a dust devil. Let's make it brown. Sixteen. Right. I believe that is a pass. This is certainly a pass. DC is twelve. Uh, strength save on a fail, you take d8. On a success, you take half damage. Oh, frick. Uh, so average would be four. 
So you're going to take two. You take two damage, and you're going to like it. Uh, after that, the, okay. a dagger comes flying at you. It I can actually hit you with these. Uh, one, two, three. I did not. But there's all of the uh, held actions. I need everybody to roll initiative. And you hear a voice. Yell back. And you hear... Go ahead. I yell back to the party. It's more of these weaklings that we just killed. Uh, hey, hey, Clem, you might want to bring your friends up. All right, hold on. I'm trying to make sure they got their shoes on and got their scary faces on. Just, just get. Give me a minute. Now I wonder if Shelton is wearing. Let's throw two slow storms. <laughs> Yes. Hey, I know these. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna adjustment. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. everybody in the tracker one, two, three, four, five, six. Do anime dead zombies go on your turn? I thought they have their own initiative. Put them in the tracker, put them in the tracker. Okay, heard. Um, is it just decks? You just click their token, hit the roll in it button. If you're in their sheet, you would um, click on their name. Yeah, so oh, the okay. I see it up there. One, two. Nope, they're in the tracker. I already did it. Oh, okay. Well, you know. It's okay. His was better. I rolled a one. <laughs> All right. Anyway. I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, <laughs> so you round the corner. The priests unleash a, a, a flurry of reactions. Their turn is first in combat. So, uh, as they get ready, you hear there is a peal of thunder. And on the thunder, a voice. Stop them. Do not let them interrupt the ritual. And then our priests are going to move forward because you're a, a jerk. And you've already shielded, and that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go so now our priests are going to move up to where they have some some vision I'm going to move their sheet onto screen 2 so I can have some vision uh, and then our priests let's see we have one guy con oh man if I mark him is it going to mark them all no cool this guy is concentrating on the dust devil Hey, wait a minute. When does Dust Devil trigger? Ba 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 ba. Ends its turn within the Devil. Cool. Uh, as a bonus action, we can move it thirty feet in a direction. Uh, do 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 do. If it moves over loose dirt like gravel, which it would. Ah, oh, cool. So our Dust Devil is now this big. Only the centermost square is affected. But everything around it is uh, lightly obscured. As we are going to move it over the party uh, onto Brian. Why not? Brian, make a strength save. What did I say lightly obscured? Uh, na, 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 na. Cloud of debris. Cloud heavily obscures. Oh my god, that's excellent. That is excellent. So, Brian, you take two damage. Nobody cares. But now there is a, a cloud of dust and dirt heavily obscuring this part of the battle from that part of the battle. <laughs> and then uh, we have one, two, three guys. Why not? We're going to try and channel our inner emperor as the three remaining cultists. Uh, they are all going to try and witch bolt the turtle. You know, you know what happens to a turtle when it's struck by lightning? 
I thought you were gonna make an Emperor's New Groove reference and have them everything, start the same thing that happens to everything else. Hey, uh, one, two, three. Did any of those hit? Uh, two of them hit. I don't know if I can defensive duelist. Uh, uh you can you can reduce the damage. No, it's a melee attack. No, no, you cannot. A uh, defensive right. duelist raises my AC. So the blue guys um, are can... concentrating on the witch bolt. You take sixteen lightning. Uh, you you can uh, uncanny dodge, right? Yes. Okay, so you can reduce the damage if you'd so like. Uh, but there are bolts of lightning connecting you to the two guys that are concentrating in the blue. And they're going to continue to zap you on their turn, because that's what they do. And then okay. the last guy here... Uh, I guess we're just going to walk up to Guaca. We're just going to, hey, how you doing? And... Uh, shocking grass, because I can, and it misses, because you're still shielded <clears throat> until right now. So, yes. I see. My turn. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to step back. So he can take his op attack if he'd like. He can take an op attack if he'd like. Uh, sure. Stabity. That's a miss. Nope. All right, and uh, the guy who's concentrating on the uh, dust devil, uh, we're going to throw a hammer in his face. No, don't do that. Why would you do that? Because I think he needs a hammer in his face. Is he still alive? Uh, well, yes, because a 17 is going to miss! Ha ha! How do you like it? <laughs> like it just fine. It's a really cool spell. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, oh, no. 23 think, hit him. I think 23 hits. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. So he takes 15 and will make a con save. Which he promptly fails, and the Dust Devil goes away. Good. Good. He, he fails, and the Dust Devil goes down. Cool. Um, oh, you're right. He does you know take what? I, I, I want action surge. I don't need that right now. Uh, I will go ahead and move back up 15 feet to there, though, so that the rest of the party can actually 20 feet to there. So every, the party can come in and play. And that's it for Guaga. Uh... At this point, you once again heal, hear more peals of thunder, and this time it sounds like a voice chanting in Orin as Ersi continues the ritual to bring Yan Sibin into this realm. Now for these things. Uh, these are going to be moving into your vision. So I, I will give you a uh, an image maybe not because I did the wrong thing uh, these they look like oh no they look like uh, tornadoes with clouds of dust and dirt swirling around them but in the center is the brain of this creature and its brain seems like a nucleus uh, uh, of con congested lightning. And you can see this lightning cloud uh, move into your field of vision, fly 60 feet. Nope, maybe not. 30, 60, we're gonna dash. We're just gonna get right the frick up here. And oh wait a minute, thirty. Yep, yeah, that's as far as it can go. Wait, yeah, I don't think you can even get there. Hold on. Nope. Okay, there and there, and then it'll be Shelton's turn. Um. We don't like the look of that. It's friendly. Go say hi. Don't tempt Shelton like that. Um, 
We're gonna cast a uh, fairy fire. I mean, we can all grab the, the little template. Hold on, just a moment. Right there. Very fire. Okay, I will attend to that in just one minute. I noticed an error that needs corrected. Okay, that should do it. All right. Uh, so the slow storm and the two concentrating guys. Check. X. Uh, what is your safety C? Uh, 15. So they all passed. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty amazing. I'm upset with you. you. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, well, I mean, I did. But I didn't now, do it on now purpose. Now I'm going to bonus. I'm going to bonus action dash. 5, 10... 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way over here. Right. I don't like lightning being shot at me. Bryant! Bryant is going to rage and come up here. Reckless attack. Uh, oh, this is the one at the bottom. Okay, hold on. The first one will miss. The second one is a 16. This, nope, it was this one that shielded. So this one is going to shield so that you don't hit it. Okay, that's my turn. Let me subtract the slot. And then it will go to Nick. So for oh. the people keeping track, both of these are currently shielded. Neither of these are. This, ah, crap. This one here. Is he injured at all? No, he is not. He is not. So, okay, cool. This one here is. Let's just have fun. Target Mr. Oh, injured. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Happen. Uh, Nick will move to there. Hey, Zilbar. Yes, I can do things. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, let <laughs> me see. Hey, why would I ever chromatic or whatever? I'm just going to ray of frost the guy I can see. Because well, I can see him. And he's in the way. So 18 damage, I guess, hopefully, if 21 this hits. This one here, well... The uh, lower one, yeah. Yeah, uh, 21 will hit him even through the shield. So he takes the full 18. Yay. Yay. Um, and then... Yikes, that's some stuff up here. That's my turn. Clem. Okay, I think we need to get rid of the little guys first, uh, but these guys are shielded, so I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to command my zombies just to hold uh, uh, their, their post, because I don't want them clogging up the hallway, so that way nobody can like get there for now. I'll tell them to creep behind me. All right, and then this guy is going to get a chill touch, the bottom guy with the blue token. As I'm debating moralities with uh, <laughs> Zilbar. <laughs> so 21 damage. And yeah. he needs to make a con save because he's currently... I think their spell ended because I'm out, like I'm in full cover of them. Uh, does Witchbolt specify that? That's I don't think not it does. how Witchbolt yeah. works. I don't think yeah, it, it says 
the spell ends if you use your action to do anything else. That's or them. if the target is ever outside the spell's range, or if it has total cover. Oh, are you with you. that thirty? Oh yeah, you're way far away. Yeah, no, spell's over. Yep, yep. Take that. All right, and uh, I'll just stay right there so that we don't clog. Zombies. Do Zombies are just gonna stay there. Okay. <laughs> the priests. They are going to do things, probably. Um, priest number one at the front of the hallway is going to cast a spell. Yes, he is. Okay, so you're just going <laughs> to let it go? Uh, yeah, they ain't done shit scary yet. I'm going to let okay. it go. He's going to cast Gust of Wind! <laughs> Uh, this gust of wind, I need a 60 foot by 10 line. Oh, hold on. Perfect. Blue! Wall, 10 by 60. Here we go. And, uh, this gust of wind is gonna be right there. Okay. Uh, and the direction... I should have stayed on there. The direction I'm really confused. Uh, is going to be this way. Oh. All right. Um, each creature that starts its turn in this line must succeed a deck save or be pushed 15 feet in that direction. Wait a minute from you in a direction you choose. I'm a stupid. Uh, no, it has to go away from him. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking uh, in the wrong wrong thing. Okay, still it's good. Oh no, I want that back. Put that back. Alright, cool. There. Uh, so everybody who starts in that line, you have to make a save or you get pushed away. Uh... Also disperses gas vapor, blah, 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 blah. That's priest number one. Priest number two through four. They are going to, well, uh, let's do another witch bolt. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's, let's witch bolt, uh, first guaca. Wah, misses. And then Bryant. Wah. Maybe. Was Bryant reckless? Uh, Bryant was reckless. All right, so I need to roll it again. All right, miss with a 15. Miss. And then the last one, uh... Ah, oh, God, why do you suck? Um... <laughs> I guess the last one... You know what? It worked so good the first time. The last one is also going to cast a spell. Right here. <laughs> that start or end turn in the thing? Starts. So if you start your turn in the spell, here, I will uh, post it again. Creature that starts to turn in line must make a strength save and be pushed away from this guy right here. And then Guaca, it is your turn. Yep. How dare you? Attack if you not. Attack if you like. Um, no, not what worried about it. Okay. There's this big brain thing in front of me, you know? There is. Big brain boy. Big brain boy, got it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I will uh, attack him with the uh, dorm thrower. Uh, well, 
so melee attack? Just, yeah, melee attacks. He's right in front of me. Yep, yep. I didn't know why you wouldn't just stand back 10 feet and throw it. Because I'm at disadvantage no matter where I stand. So I might as well just fair. hit him with the thing. That's fair. Okay, uh, both will hit. They both hit. 22. Cool. Action search. Cool. Ugh. Yikes. Stupid action search. Big oof. Batting. Both of those missed. Yep. Remainder, my, remainder five feet to that point here in case somebody wants to try and run through that cloud of hell. <laughs> uh, Ercy, again, the voice booms. She's going to continue the ritual. And then it's my boys. All right. Uh, let's see what we will do here. I think this one right here. Uh, this one is going to cast a spell. The eyeball is going to cast a spell? The big storm is going to cast a spell. You see tendrils Can I tell that it's casting a spell? of energy begin to rise as bolts of lightning begin to whip around inside the dust storm. Is this the kind of spell that I'd be able to not make it cast anymore? That depends if you'd like to use a reaction to cast Counterspell right now. <laughs> I would I would love to use my reaction to Counterspell at 4th level. Whatever it's doing, level, it doesn't look good. You're going yes. to need to make a roll. DC 16. Yes. Uh, charisma? Yeah, straight Charisma. Question mark? It's your spellcasting mod. So, this button. 16, that's exactly hey. what you needed. So you throw out your hand, Counterspell, and uh, whatever it was doing... It doesn't Not anymore. Do. And then begins to surge down the hallway, squeezing past everything nearby. Uh, Guaca, you would get an op attack if you'd like. Great, great. I will green flame blade. 28 is a hit. Can these things take fire damage? Ah. I don't know. All right. Are you finished? Well, I, I know that this guy can take fire damage. Yes, he can. Uh, he's also concentrating on something. Neat. Only oh, hatred priest. Con. He passed. Now this guy. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. The second slow storm pops up. And they are also going to cast a spell. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody else even has the ability to counter, so this will happen. And the slow storm, you see, once again, this energy begins to rise. Its core begins to emanate lightning bolts that get wrapped up into the storm. As the bolts swirl around the creature's frame you see they begin to coalesce in the front facing towards the party and then as it builds and grows eventually this beam lances out first in the direction of Bryant but from there it splits off also attacking Clem, Knickknack and Zilbar as the creature casts a chain lightning Oh, that's gross. I'm using my reaction to uh, <laughs> cast absorb elements. That sounds like a good idea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it rolls something there, but whatever. Um. That's because the lightning damage gets added to your next attack as a d6. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but mind. okay. So Brian passed with danger sense, so that would be twenty. 22 uh half again no not half again oh yeah half again you're a totem barb right yes half again are you raging yes i am okay so half again 
Uh, Zilbar passes. We'll take 22. Clementine, what was your save? 22. 22. So you're yep. also reducing. You're also taking 11 with Brian. Okay. There's that. And then uh, it'll be Shelton's turn. Uh, Shelton is going to uh, bon uh, bonus action dash and near my way over here. Um, and I guess we will stab at the storm. <laughs> yes, um, stab that storm right I, in its face. Yeah, that's a stabbing. Psych, and uh, I'm gonna hold that for a crit. I think. Uh, sneak attack goes off. Here you go. Oh god, <laughs> that's that's low. Yeah, it could have been better. All right, Bryant. All right. Uh, rinse and repeat. Reckless attack. Uh, are you blessed? I'm not. I I, I accidentally checked that instead of rage damage. Okay. Seventeen and nineteen. Seventeen is a miss. The nineteen will hit. All right, and I'm gonna action search. Yes, sir. Woo. Hey! That's good. All right, let's see the second. 19 will hit, so you have two hits. And then that's uh, going to be another attack, too. Jesus. 24, 2. Your rage is more more than 2 damage. No, next level it bumps up to 3. Oh, that's right. You're multi. I'm sorry. Uh, 17 is a miss. Alright, that's my turn. 86 I did damage. all I can do. <laughs> Not bad. Woof. Is that all at the eyeball thing? Yes. Yeah, all at the eyeball. Yep. Nick. Is that gust of wind still going on? It is. Oh, uh, yeah, Bryant needed to oh, okay. make that save first. Although it wouldn't have amounted to much. Because he definitely wanted to fail with right, advantage. 15, is it 15 feet? Yep. And you're prone. Oh, well, that's a call. That person's on a column, right? Yep. So there's a something blocking mm -hmm. you there. Blocking. Yeah, cool. So Nick will use half his move to stand up. It's up to here. And he will lick his wounds, and that will be the end of his turn. Zilbar. Yes, I'm going to do a thing. Uh, Bryant, I know I'm not your favorite person right now, but try and not hold this against me. I would use a blue one, but you've already used blue, so I'm going to use the purple one. What? Any one of these. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know what this yeah, is. Any one of these. Yeah, you know, how, yeah, I'm not hitting Guaca. No, you're not. Because it's a wall. Yeah, you're but good. Bryant and everything else. <laughs> All right. Once again, I'm sorry about this. Uh, bring it on. Let's do it. Wait, did you? Oh no, that was Nick's cure wounds. And right. it ignores resistances, so. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. does it all, ignore all my skills and gore resistances. So, I better make your save. Um, <laughs> 40 damage? I feel like that low rolled. These guys are... Uh, we're just gonna remove them. This one, he can actually live. <laughs> so he well, will, the wind's uh, gone. Nope, he's gone. Yeah, all the wind is gone. I mean, I can make a save, but it pushed me into the wall anyways, wouldn't it? Uh, you will, yeah, from where you are. All right, and um, then the, I, the slow I mean, I guess storms. I have no movement, yeah. Does is it half damage on pass or no damage? It's half. half. So half, half and half. No, all it right. doesn't half twice because it ignores resistances. My cold spells ignore resistances. So it doesn't right. get half a second time. 
And if they die to it, they become a frozen statue. Okay. So there's there's cultist cones there. <laughs> Are you finished? That is my turn, yes. Lemon time. All right, I'm so glad that you did that because I did not want to like move over uh, three the tumbling zombies. <laughs> also just tumbling away. <laughs> yeah. um, Clem is okay. I'm gonna. Does it look? Does this thing look like it can make a melee attack? Does it have like little, I guess, arm things? It looks exactly like it does in the picture. Okay. All right. Um. I'm just going to smack it with my stick then and we'll run away. Oof. Right, smack it. That's a miss. I'm still going to run away because that thing is spooky. Looking. As you try to run. I don't take an off attack. Oh, that's though. right. I have mobile. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, and then I'm gonna... you avoided 23 damage, so I mean, that's a good... <laughs> yeah, and then uh, these two zombies down here are just going to hold it, and then I'm going to command this one right here to step up and make its own slam attack. Oh, you monster! And also do 23 damage. Uh, no, it does oh, seven, boy. <laughs> seven non-magical damage. That's that's good. <laughs> All right, so that's the zombies' turn. Waka. All right. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Bane on these two things. It's a DC 15 save. Charisma. 10 and 8, they both fail. Okay, so they're both Bane. Good. I'll just put the concentration thing on me. Cool. And I am going to find. I'm going to try and run towards wherever the voice is going, so if he wants to make an op attack at me, he can. Oh, I will. Ah, jeez. Yeah, he missed. He didn't. Okay, run! Run! And run! Run! I'm, I am. I yeah. yell back, we got to stop the ritual. <laughs> I'm running ahead. All right, Air C continues their ritual. Uh, the storms. Ha-ha! <laughs> he lived! Uh, I... I... Him. This one here in the front. Uh, I think yellow is a more lightning color. Let's use yellow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it is going to use its action. And this is not a spell. Uh, it is going to use its static shock, its breath weapon. The storm ex exhales its electrical power in a 30-foot cone. Targets in the area take 54 lightning damage and roll a d4, suffering bone rack as the moisture is drained from the air and it racks your body with arthritic pain. Uh, a successful con save halves the, the dexterity loss and prevents the the effect. That's right. It doesn't prevent the damage. That's brutal. It's very brutal. That's why I didn't open with that. Oh, uh, I believe all the zombies are gone. <laughs> 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 my beautiful babies okay so it doesn't okay never mind no right. the deck save halves the the amount of dexterity points you lose and when prevents the bone rack and what is bone rack oh uh, bone so rack i have to roll a d4 is loss? this so yes so you if uh if you fail, you roll a d4, you lose that much dex, and you get this ability. I'm sorry. If you fail, you lose the full d4. If you pass, you only lose half. But then uh, if you fail, you also get that affliction. You lose an additional d4 dexterity drain, 
and any creature caught within the breath weapon that fails another con save suffers crushing pains in its bone and joints. Any round in which the pain creature moves, it takes a d4 necrotic damage per five feet moved. So let's see I don't who feels so good, Mr. Stark. Oh yes, yeah. so so Clem has the bone rack. <laughs> You're gonna get this uh, this skull right here. So whenever you move five feet, you take a d4 damage. And you lose another D4 dex. Uh, who else failed? It doesn't look like anybody. <laughs> so Silver I, passed. I lost how much health? 54. Okay. Next uh, health. Dexterity. How long does that last? Until the effect of half of one. one, one? Or is half of one zero? Half of one zero. It's always run down. Nice. Is it con or dex? Dex. It. The static shock takes your dex. The bone rack takes your takes uh, dex as well. It's, okay. It says con bone. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. It's a con save. It's a con save. But it affects your dexterity dex score. Yes. Okay, I did the wrong thing then. My bad. Shaboom. Yeah. Oh, wow. Still failed. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. It was meant to be. It was. It was meant bones. to be. I didn't read correctly. I didn't listen. It. It just. Uh, so you know what? Actually, I've got a nat twenty. I've got. No. Can I you, use my net? You have to use it before you roll. Okay. All this right. The first time. <laughs> oh, I thought you picked uh, when we. We haven't. It. I haven't. Yeah, I didn't. No. I haven't no, done that in a long time. So. All right. Uh. The second slow storm is going to cast a spell. I use my reaction to cast absorb elements so I wouldn't die. So I can't do anything about it. Excellent. Then it will... Wait, I have to check its innate. Three a... Nope. Yes, three a day. It's going to use another chain lightning. And this time it's going to start here. Good thing you're already resistant. Then it's going to go to our turtle, our barbarian, and then over here to our druid. So you four, deck save or forty six lightning. Okay. Wait, we could have used absorb elements on the last one because I thought you said it couldn't be resisted. Where did I say that? I don't know. I I, I did ping it though. So, could I take the half of last? If you use absorb elements, yes, you're, you're resistant. Yeah, it's in the chat. Yeah, okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, and then deck save, shaboom. Okay. So, I have rains. Shelton, did you take your damage? I have evasion. That is right, you do. It doesn't. I can't remember which units ran. It didn't look like they had moved. All right, uh, that's their turns, and then it'll go to Shelton. Okay, uh, we're gonna smack this thing. Yeah. Don't 76. fail me now. It failed me now. You. All right, you're still calculating. Um, yeah, yeah. Tw 23 hits, 4 piercing, 11 sneak, outside the cold, the first one is down. Alright, uh, we're gonna run, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, um, we're gonna dash, bonus action. Uh, when you that's step away, 14 misses. Misses. And that's Shelton's turn. Bryant. Hello. Uh, Alright, Bryant is going to. Bada boom. Reckless. Rinse and repeat. 21 is a hit, 16 is a miss. Alright. 
Uh, da, da, da. And I'm going to second wind. And then that's my turn. All right, Nick. Okay, so the bone rack thing talks about another DC 18 constitution save. Yes. Did you roll both of your saves? No, I only rolled one. Okay, so you should have made a second con save. All right, that is a fail. So there we you go. You have bone cool. rack. Bone rack. Good. All righty. Um, is bone rack considered a ease or anything like that? Out of curiosity. Uh, it no, not a disease or a poison. No. This would, uh, in order to remove it, you could you would need a greater resto. Uh, I guess I'm not moving then. Or a long rest. Um, yeah. So I guess I better do something like this and end my turn. Yep. Zilbar. Uh, the ones in the back don't look so good, but we got problems in the front. So I'm going to run up and try and help uh, with that guy and do a second level chromatic orb at the thing. Twenty-two to hit. Ooh, that's a good hit. For, for twenty-three. Twenty-three cold. And it doesn't Dark matter that he's resistance. Fork you. I don't care about resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Work on. We don't need resists. And right. that's my turn. Clem. Clem, pale faced, doesn't look too good. She's gonna look over at her friend, her little lizard friend, and uh, use greater restoration on him. What a kind soul. What so a kind soul. She doesn't feel like moving though. So she's just gonna stay put. <laughs> just go on without me. Baka. Yeah, I hear a lot of chaos going on behind me, but uh, I have a feeling we need to take care of the ritual more than anything else, and I feel like my allies can take care of the problem. So I'm going to keep moving. Actually, I don't know. Yeah. I run to there. Dash. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, they're baned. I, I think I have to deal with that. All right. Uh, it's Aerys' turn once again. Booming Orin language uh, comes through the chamber. Yes, yes. The ritual is almost completed. Sweet. Uh, the slow storm. What does this mean? This is a good question. Um, hmm. We're going to let the Barbarian take an attack of opportunity. If he so chooses. He said here, okay. Uh, 12 is a miss. I'm reckless. Don't all of my attacks automatically have advantage? On your turn. True. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Nope. Moved a little too far. Don't, all right, anyway. Don't... don't... Don't do what I think you're going to do. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, this slow storm hasn't used its breath weapon yet. Ha! And it's going to breathe hot electric death on the two of you. Okay, so... No, not you. <laughs> the other two. Oh, um, not Bryant me. Okay. And yeah, I thought it was no, coming no. at us two. <laughs> nope. 
Ooh, and then Zilbar, a second con save to see if you're stuck with the bone rack. Yep. And then you roll uh, 2d4s to see how much your dex is drained. Brian, Brian, Danger does, Sense does, would apply here, I believe. Does the 1d4 I rolled before count, or I have to roll two new ones? No, 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 it's two total, so one, okay. one more for you. So four total. Now I have 12 decks, question mark? Yes. Until you take a long rest, or someone greater rests with you. Uh, Brian, what did you roll? Why did you make two deck saves? Why did you make two decks? Why did you make a deck save? There is no deck save. Oh, because I said oh. danger sense like an idiot. No, it's uh, two con saves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you failed the first one. And you pass the second one. So you avoid the bone rack, which is probably the most important thing. But you, I need you to roll two d4s. All right, so four and then one, because the one is halved. Uh, oh no, nope, you failed the one. Okay, so it, your dex is now minus six until rest or blah, 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 blah. And then uh, Shelton. Okay, um, really don't like what that's doing to my friends, so. So just to make sure I understand, I can choose when to use the crit, right? Yes, before you roll. Okay. You just drag I'm it onto the tabletop. Use the crit. Uh, drag it onto. Yep. Click it and then drag it onto the tabletop when you when you see it in the little box. Just like that, oh. boom! You are critting now. Okay. Hacks activated. <laughs> All right. There's that. I um, just want to point out, I still have one I haven't used too. <laughs> how I I am assuming I cannot make it crit from this, so not I have on, to roll not on the roll damage one manually. Actually, I think there is a way, but just roll the damage twice. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I'm gonna psychic blades. So that's, oh yeah. That's two d eight for the regular attack. Okay, we're we're starting off good. Um. <laughs> And then that's 6 D6 plus 8 D6. What is, is that 14 D6? For what? Uh, psychic Blades and Sneak Attack. How do you have Sneak Attack? I have uh, Rackish Audacity. That's a good answer. Yes, it is. All right, hit me. Come on. Oof! Big bada boom. Yeah, so I do that, and then I bonus action dash. Wait, wait, is that all your dice? Where's your regular weapon damage? Oh, I put, I did do the rapier one. I didn't do the frost. How much is the frost? Uh, another d six. 2d6 and yes, the mod I am I am sorry no it's okay it's resistant to cold so that'll be 3 and then what's your dex mod 5 uh it's 4 plus 3 it's 3 there you go okay I think now we're ready and then I'm assuming you're running yes and you can't hit me back because I have fancy I'll, footwork. You don't have to bounce to me. To you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do what I want. <laughs> yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We're good. Bryant. Right. No, don't kill my thing. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> That's oh, all and I he do. said Rinse the words. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. Those are both hits. Okay, so we have 25, 40, 51, 53. It lived! Oh, only if one of them crit it. Uh, that is everything I can do. Right, Nick. <laughs> Graham, 
some crackers. Thank you for the reset, man. Welcome back. How you been? Oh, oh, I can kind of make out this thing here. Hey, well, next turn I'll do something bigger, maybe. Uh, let's do that. Stop it. Uh, I passed. <laughs> turn. Okay. Uh, Zilbar. My bones. They ache. <laughs> so I can't move, but I can still cast spells, no, right? You can move, but you take... But I take damage, effect. so I'm not... I don't want to hurt my brittle your bones. Your friends are trying to okay. stop a god from, mater from uh, manifesting Wait. on the material plane. I have a question. He can fly, but if he flies, it counts as difficult, difficult terrain. terrain. Wait, can I fly and not break my bones? No. Yeah, because I have... Bones everywhere, okay? It's not a sort of <laughs> bones brittle everywhere. bones. What I'm gonna do is second level cast chromatic orb at the duder. Don't you dare. Because, because I'm not happy with him. It's okay? a bad idea. My bones. M my bones, okay? <laughs> 28 Ooh. to hit for 25 damage that ignores resistance. Alright, and with that, the uh, slow storms are dead. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. I just <laughs> want to thank whoever gave me that crit. Alright. Clementine. Oh, she, her bones are hurting too. <laughs> I am my bones. My bones are aching. Um, can so, I cast Greater Restoration at a higher level? I mean, there's no reason you couldn't. It just okay. burns a higher level slot. I hope you do have all these diamonds that for these castings. Yeah, I totally do. I definitely bought diamonds. Oh, okay. I was I was certain you did. I I definitely especially bought, since you know, we talked about diamonds. stocking up before we left town for the last time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in fact, yeah, yeah. you know that took up my last uh, two <laughs> diamonds. Um. Uh. uh yeah. Um. So hmm, Graham, all right. do exclamation one d ten in chat twice. Uh, well, if I move, then I'm tired. I to hurt myself. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Clem doesn't like exactly know this, but she's gonna take a step and be like, "Ah, shoot! The pain, the pain! I'm so sorry. Go on without me, my friends." And then she's gonna stop there and return. So you, you moved one taking square. a d4 damage. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Oh, it hurts! My bone spurs. Oh. Uh. Nick, Nick, the gods have looked on you with favor. Heal for four hit points. Four. I need four. Four. <laughs> the the gods also ruled very poorly. <laughs> God, kind. I appreciate the gods' thoughts. Uh, let's uh, uh, for my uh, prayer. The person I'm looking at right now is that important person right there. Ah, uh, well, as you round the corner, you see several things of note. Yeah. One is you see that person there who you noted already. Uh, that person is Ersi, the prophet of the Howling Hatred. And you see that mm -hmm. as she stands in front of the dais, uh, there is, uh, she has her wings splayed out in front of her, almost like raised arms and supplication, and she's holding a monumental spear. And above her, high above this, this altar, you see the portal, the elemental node that leads to Yansi Bin's realm. And inside the portal, is a swirling ball of lightning. And just on the other side, you can see the man of the hour, Yan Sibin, prince of the elemental evil. And uh, as you come into view, he scowls. Stop them! Do not let them interfere!
Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna try and interfere. Um, is the spear she's holding made of metal? Yes. It is metal. Yes. Like the the, yeah. the whole thin length of it is a metal metal. Okay, great. Just want to make sure. Uh. Sense of heat and metal coming up. I do too. I you, do too. You do too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. I don't know if it'll do anything. We'll check. We cast heat and metal on that spear. Okay. Uh. You're not so sure. So she takes you're thirteen. Sure. She no, takes she the twelve damage. Will you listen. You know, okay. Uh. You cast the heat metal on the sphere. Your spell works fine. But you see that it doesn't affect her weapon. And behind her, through the portal, Yan Sibin bursts out in laughter. Ha ha ha! You seek to affect my spark on this domain while here in the elemental node of power? You are foolish! It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It was a good try. Inspiration for you. Consolation prize, even though you suck. Uh, oh my god, I've had inspiration this whole time. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's her turn. All right, um, did you have something else? No bonus action, sorry. I thought I had a bonus line. Okay. Uh, okay. So now it is her turn. And she's going to turn around. She looks at you. And... Uh, Yep. As she looks at you, you can see she takes the spear and she points it in your direction. And as she does, you can see visible currents of wind surge towards you. And whereas they kind of emanate from the portal behind her, and as they move, they gather silt and dirt, surging forward. But as they move, about 30 feet ahead of her, you see the composition of these currents change. Whereas once they were uh, translucent in simple just currents of air, you see that they begin to become opaque and greenish color uh, as this billowing fog erupts around you from the area in which she pointed. And I need a 20-foot radius sphere. Uh, no, she would cast it right on you. Like, right in the middle. As she hits you with the cloud kill. Okay. Yeah, I know. You have advantage on poison. Whoop-dee-doo. Uh, I believe you don't make the save until the start of your turn. Oh, nope, I lied. When Sorry. a creature oh. enters the area for the first time or starts its turn there. So, con save, there you go. You pass. You're going to take... Oh, wow. Did I really roll 18? I did. That sucks. Uh, so you'll take 9? Four damage. Six? Four. Oh, because you passed as well. Yes. And then he will take 9. Shelton! I don't like that. Are you sure? Um, yeah. We're going to bonus action dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Hiya! That is a miss. Is, is that all? Oh, yes, that was actually Oh, yeah, that's here. it. Bryant! Alright, Bryant is going to take his movement. What the heck? You have the ruler selected. No, I have the, the regular thing selected, but it's not working. It's just grabbing uh, for highlight. 
Basically, I'm going to move 40 feet and... Okay, well... Uh, look, make a r random attack roll. Ah. You move 10 feet. Oh, see? You moved yourself. Oh, my screen's all screwy. I'm to the right of where I'm supposed to be. Okay. 5, 10. And then I enter into Cloud Kill Zone. Yep, there you go. So, con save. You pass, you'll take nine, four, because totem barb. Then you don't need to waste an attack because you took damage. Thank you. And I I'm going to refresh. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> I'm going to refresh. I'll be back. All right. Nick. You guys are all so spread out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a couple of us have no bones, so... Just take the damage and move! Your friends need you! I will! I'm gonna, once my turn starts. <laughs> and just turn there. Zilbar. My bones! So, I have a 30 feet movement. You might want to do just one square at a time. Dude, I can't even see anybody with 30 feet of movement. But I have to. Okay, so one... That's... Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, you want to take these? Four. Oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> One more. One. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. That one. Okay. It could have been worse. Okay. One more. Okay. Three. <sighs> my bones. Sorry. My bones. You got that dry twist. <laughs> One more. Three. <sighs> Another four. Oh, my bones, and then my last one uh, there. And then uh, moving there, you can see the poisonous cloud around the corner. Yeah. One more point. Um, I can see the cloud kill. Yes. Can't you? It should be yellow right yes. there in your field of vision. Yes, I can. Do I need to see the source of it to dispel it? Wait, how it? does Cloud kill? It doesn't move around corners. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, so I can't no, see it. You do not! Question that mark. means I also need to give Brian back four hit points. I know. I, that's... I'll just use it when I come around the corner into it. I just did it. Yep. Um, well... I can't see anybody, so I guess I'm going to bonus action dash. Or not bonus action, sorry. Main action, because I don't have rogue shit. So yeah. let's do... Let's do an, another five feet of movement. Are you going to use the full thing? We could just roll your... Uh... Well, you're the one who said one by one for well, dramatic effect. Gonna, let's like, do one by one. Let's do one by one. and go, all right, I'm done. I'm not moving. Okay, well then, fine. Um, so 64? Just just do it all. Yeah, do them all. Bam! Just do six. Whopping 16 damage. See, look, that ain't bad. That's not bad. You're totally fine. Yeah, if I can see you my next turn, I'll haste you. Um, my bones. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Um, Take I got a, a couple questions. Do it. So, uh, <laughs> I got a couple questions. Okay, One, what? can I give my twenty to my friend? If you can, if you want, declare it before they roll. Okay, cool. So if somebody else tries to make a roll, I can be like, "Hey, I give him my 20. What are you doing? That's for what turn? I'm hearing. I, I just, 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 just yay or nay, just yay or nay. I've I can already give... answered it. We're we're trying okay. to wrap things up quickly. What are you doing for turn? Okay, for turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be doing um, cure wounds on myself. Let's go at a fourth level. All right, I'm not even gonna bother adding it. <laughs> so let's see here 1, 5, 10, 15, 20 30 35 alright I moved 35 feet how much damage do I take? Okay, 18. cool alright um, so let's go ahead and gain 2 HP okay and that'll do it Waka Start of turn. Yes.
Take my poison poopy. What? You started your turn in the cloud kill. Four damage. Okay. Okay. Um, it's just too far away from the throw. Is it still the, the same wind effect? Of anything beyond regular range is automatic? This entire area. So I can't hit with the throw, so I won't worry about that. Um, I shatter her, just her. Okay. And I'm going to give my D20 to uh, Turtle Boy. That's not how that works. We literally just talked about it. Yeah, before he gets a chance to attack, I'm going to give it to him. You said yes, yes. When he... No, just stop. All right, 17, she takes... Uh, all right. Are you finished? Yes. It's her turn. And what is she going to do? She's... Well, we're going to cast a spell. No one here can stop it. I, uh, yeah. So it's just going to be Guaca and uh, Shelton making a save. Why is it DC 13? That ain't right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, DC 14. Big difference there. Sorry. Uh, I didn't have an advantage, but 17 should save me. Okay. So you still take 23. And then I'll absorb elements at a second level. I have evasion. Yep, yep. So I take half of yep, half, yep. so 11. And then on her turn, this thing floats 10 feet. Elton. Okay. I am going to make an attack. So if you want to give me the crit, give me the crit. Have my nat 20. Put it All on right. the tabletop. Okay. I need to do that. There you go. I put it on the tabletop. All right. All let's right. see the rolls. That and then the um, that's 2d8. It oh, just hit the button twice. Well, it, it didn't auto crit, you just hit the button twice. It rolls 4d6 and 4d6, your d8 plus three, another d8, and then your d6 for the cold. Okay. And then for the... It didn't roll sneak pro... Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it did. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, that's that's my turn. Uh, I'm going to bonus action healing word myself. 41. It's close. Very close. Are you finished? Yes. Does she maintain concentration on that cloud kill? Uh, probably not. Nope! Cloud kill is oh. gone. Oh. Alright, Bryant is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm too far away. 50 feet. I think the javelin is 80 feet, correct? You automatically miss anything past the normal range. Oh, past 30 feet. Okay. Um, Remember the howling wind? Yeah, I thought it was 80 feet as its main, not further than that. Um, shit. Uh, I'm going to... 
I automatically miss, but I need to make an attack roll to keep um Understood. Rage up. Uh and that'll be my turn. I'm gonna throw a javelin and miss. Nick. Okay. That's uh, the end of next turn. Zill. I think we know it's coming. <laughs> it's, it's my bones. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How far are you moving? Yeah. Yes, I am. All of it. Another six. six okay. Eight. Yep, I can take it. Oops. Minus 16. Okay, I'm going to cast a big ol' spell. Only one baddie, right? It's her? Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast a real big spell that I hope I don't miss. Okay. Kona uh... Cold. No, no, <laughs> not that one. No, 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 not quite. No, I'm giving him your twenty, Clem. Uh, I do it. I give him the twenty. Well, that's he's, he's not going to do an attack roll. Oh, he's yes, not. I am. I'm attacking. Yeah. I'm going to make an attack. I hope I don't miss. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I give him it. I would appreciate the twenty because I'm casting chromatic orb at sixth level. Oof. At her because she's the bad. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm gonna hit it again because the crit, right? Uh, well, I don't see a twenty on the tabletop. Oh, then no, never mind. Just the first one. There it is. Never mind. Guess the second one too. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. So, chromatic orb flies out. It's Airsy, and uh, there's not very much she can do about that. So she is just going to. Uh, as the orb hits her, you see her her arms and, and wings splay out around her. And then her body begins to disappear in a howling whirlwind. It disperses quickly, and everything she was wearing is left behind. Laid out neatly at the at the foot of the portal, with the spear resting on top of it. My bones. Uh, Clem doesn't know that. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Let's just go to Guaca, who's standing yeah. <laughs> there at the foot of the Citadel. Citadel. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Guaca? I'm gonna run up to wherever the hell she was. I'll grab the spear and I'll chuck it into the portal. Throwing it into the portal. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we're losing out on quite a few magic weapons here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, as you throw it through the portal again, there is a burst of lightning, a blinding flash of energy. All of you have to avert your eyes as it is so brilliant. But when you look back, the portal is gone. And the elemental node into the plane of air has been closed. Good. And on that note, uh, in okay, the relative just, safety, you can't do anything. <laughs> in the relative safety of this area, um, you would be so with the air cult defeated. You would be able to take a rest before returning to the Fane and continuing your journey. This is going to be the end of this session, and we'll turn next week, uh, moving into the next elemental node. All right. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already, join us in the Discord, and I will see you next time.